Hi there, welcome in, welcome in. How are you? Did you have an appointment with us today? We are here for a consultation. That is perfect. I love doing consultations. Um, a lot of people have been more and more interested in microblading since it's become more accessible. People see it on Instagram, they see it everywhere, and so we get a lot of new folks coming in wanting to know what it's all about. So I am happy to tell you. Could I get your name, please? And your birth date? Okay. If you're under 18, you just need parental permission. You're good. Okay. And where do you live? What's your address? From around here. Okay. Do you have a good email? Okay. Thank you so much. So this is your first time in the salon, I'm assuming. Okay, of course. And you're just looking for a consultation today. We could theoretically do a little bit of microblading, um, just so you can see what it feels like. Um, your brows look really nice. It's, it's definitely for people who, you know, they don't want to put on brow makeup every single day. Maybe you have like, um, just a patch or so that really isn't filled in exactly the shape you want it. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is sign you up. And if you decide to go through with any sort of microblading service, you can get 15% off. Mm hmm Yeah, we just want people to come in and learn about it because it really is a good fit for a lot of people. I have my little, my little charts here, and I'm just going to go over some things about it. So, microblading, obviously, it is um, a somewhat invasive procedure because we are doing little micro cuts into your skin with a tiny, tiny, tiny blade, and I'll show it to you um, in a moment. But what it does is we deposit ink under the skin. It is not a permanent solution to your brows, although some people wish that it was. Um, it will fade within as little as six months to up to 18 months, depending on how you take care of your brows, if you spend a lot of time in the sun, things of that nature. Exactly. So, you could choose your brow shape that you want, and we can do that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me show you your shape options. Okay. Now, these are the most popular, but it certainly doesn't mean that you have to go with one of these. Um, if you want me to just sort of fill in your natural brow as it is, we can do that. First, we have the arched brow. This is the most popular right now. Brows do go in and out of style. So, for me personally, I prefer that microblading is not a permanent procedure. But you get the eyebrow going up and then arching beautifully down into a point here. This is particularly good if you've never gotten your eyebrows microbladed before and maybe you just want something a little more classic. Next we have the steep arch and as you may have guessed, it is similar to the arched brow, but the brow goes higher on the face before coming back down to the same point, so the arch underneath is a little more pronounced. Now this brow, 
can tend to make you look a little bit older, a little more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And some people, this deep arch just suits their face better than the arched. Depending on how their natural brow goes, um, the distance between their eyebrow and their eye, the size of their forehead, things like that, exactly. Next, we have the S shaped brow. So this brow will give you a little bit of a dip before going up and arching down again. This brow does have a lot of character, I think. Um, the S shaped brows that I've done on people have turned out really, really nicely. Again, it's all a matter of preference, face shape, things like that, exactly. Next, we have the rounded brow. So this is going to have um, an arch, but the arch itself doesn't meet and go down. It gradually climbs and falls. This brow will certainly make you look a little younger, if that's what you're going for. And it's just a bit softer and even slightly more androgynous than some of the more arched brows depending on your look, your personal style, and preference. But the rounded brow can be easily done um, on most face shapes. Finally, we have the straight brow, which is a very cute style. It can be slightly androgynous, if that's the look that you're trying to achieve. It's very soft. It's not completely straight, but it gives you the least arch of all works really well with certain face shapes if that's what you want to do and it looks very beautiful I think on many of my clients so you could go arched, steep arched, S-shaped, rounded, or straight and those would be your more predetermined options but like I said we could certainly just Evaluate your face and go with what's the most natural for you. Some people want to choose their brow shape. Other people just want, you know, to enhance what they already have. Now, what we're going to do next is evaluate what color would be best for your brows. Um, looking at your hair... Your hair certainly does not have to match your brows. You should match the natural color of your brows unless you're going for something more intense. Um, if you have dark eyebrows, doing blonde in them isn't going to do much. So I would say unless you have blonde brows, you should be looking at the darker options. So we can go as light as blonde here. Then we go to auburn. This is perfect for people with red hair, either natural or dyed. We have chocolate, which is more of a light to mid brown. Then we have dark brown. And finally, ebony, which is our darkest. Um, I would say. I would put you around chocolate or dark brown. Mm hmm. Could certainly take a look at our options though, but I think uh, more of a bold brow is actually more in nowadays. Even if your hair is light, it really gives your face a very nice frame. So, when you do microblading, there's going to be a few stages. When you walk out of the salon, your brows are going to look pretty natural, but pretty dark. It'll look like you just filled them in with makeup. Do you fill them in now? Okay. After about a day, they're going to appear very dark. Sometimes my clients call me, they're like, what did you do to me? Like, Don't worry they will lighten up. In fact, they lighten up quite a bit um, in the weeks when your brows are healing. 
So we'll get very light before settling back into a mid-tone that should last you um, most of your months that you have with your microbladed brows. We do recommend that you come in for a touch-up within six weeks of your initial appointment. So we recommend this because when you first do the procedure, not all of the strokes will take. Um, some of them will fade and your brows could end up looking slightly uneven. So we always want you to come back in after your six weeks. I'll take a look, see if we can just clean up any places, make sure that all the spots are filled in where they're supposed to be filled in. Mm-hmm. All right. So let me take a look at your brows here. And now, do you mind if I do a little bit of brushing? And I'm going to do a little bit of shaping. I have tweezers as well, if you don't mind me just cleaning up around the edges. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to brush your brow to the side. You don't need to trim these, this is nice length. Had my eyebrows microbladed. It's been about, let's say, May, June, July, August. It's been almost six to seven months, I think, since I've gotten them done. So I actually have an appointment in the coming months to do a touch up. If you come back within nine months, your service will cost less. But after nine months, it will be like you're getting a whole new set. cleaning up around. Okay. Okay. So when I come and fill in your brows now, it's just going to be very light. And we just want to sort of see and show you what it would look like after we did the microblading. No, it doesn't hurt. Um, you do have numbing cream applied, and the numbing cream is extremely effective. I will say, some people here, right on the top part of their brow, it's very thin here, so the nerves um, sometimes don't take too well to the numbing cream. So you might feel some burning, but it truly just feels like a cat scratch. People say that the sound is the worst part. Since it is happening on your face, you can hear it through your, sk your skin almost. It, you'll, you'll see when we get started. Um, but you're more than welcome to wear headphones, drown out any sound, distract yourself. I don't mind. I certainly don't mind. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of measurements here, just using my stick. And now I'm going from the corner of your eye down to your nose. Okay. Other. Okay. Okay. 
look straight ahead. So go ahead and take a look in the mirror. I'm going to go ahead and grab the microblading tool so I can show you what they look like. We can actually apply some numbing cream now and do some microblading today. You really truly do just have a few places I'd like to fill in. show you what I'll be using. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloss on. Okay. So here we do use disposable blood um, microblading pens so the blades are at the end here. what a pen would look like. As you can see, the blades are extremely tiny, extremely tiny, and what I would be doing is making small marks on your face. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's very effective. And since it's so small, with the numbing cream, you really shouldn't feel a thing. What do you think? Did you like your brows? Good, very good, very good. That makes me happy to hear. I am going to apply some numbing cream. We're gonna let that sit for a minute or so. It's very fast acting. Now the ink we have looks fairly dark. I know it looks black, but I assure you it is the correct color that we're going for. Now just be pouring a little bit into this cap here. too much ink going into your skin at all. Come on now. Okay. I'm also going to mist you with a bit of antiseptic. expect maybe if any of these things are not reasonable for you you just let me know so the following must be avoided during all 14 days post microblading increased sweating practicing sports swimming hot saunas baths or jacuzzis sun tanning or salon tanning um, well UV and UVA rays have been known to cause discoloration and fading. So it's like, why did you just pay and go through all of that to have them fade? Any laser or chemical treatments or peelings 
or any creams containing retin-A or glycolic acid on the face or neck. Um, after you finish your procedure, there will be some scabbing. Completely ignore it if you can. Um, peeling, picking, or scratching of the micropigmented area will um, potentially lead to scarring or removal of the pigment, which you certainly don't want. And then you want to stay away from a lot of airborne debris, so doing heavy household cleaning, like garage or basement cleaning, could get a lot of debris in the area. Same with driving in open-air vehicles, such as convertibles, boats, bikes, or motorcycles. And then you just want to not touch your eyebrows. So it does seem like a lot. 14 days is highly, highly recommended. But it's really... I'm supposed to tell you that it is required, but just do your best. These are the rules for the most pristine, long-lasting brows you can get. Um, in the beginning, you can still wash your face, just avoid the eyebrow area. After a week or so, you can wash the eyebrow area as well. And the entire healing process takes about four to six weeks, and I'll be giving you a balm at the end that you can put on your eyebrows starting tomorrow morning. Okay, let me fail. Numbed up. Okay. You can close your eyes if you want. I'm just gonna go right on in and do a line. How's that feel? Okay, great.
Alright. So. It's not so bad, huh? No? Okay. Good, good, good. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Perfect. And when you come back in a few weeks, we'll be able to compare and see how your skin is handling the healing process. Here is your healing cream. It's a little balm. And all you do is get a little bit on your finger and really coat back and forth so it gets into the skin. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit um, tender, sore to the touch tomorrow. But do your best and call me if you have absolutely any questions at all. Well, this is yours. And are you paying by card today? Perfect. I'll take that. Go ahead, take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror. Tell me what you think. Good. I'm so glad. People really, really, really love this. Uh, microblading just does so much for your face and really saves you time on doing so much eyebrow filling in and care and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Did you have any questions at all for me? Okay, great. Perfect. Well, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for letting me do your brows today, and I hope you're happy with